Hi guys! So, this week I'm sharing the process of something that I wasn't actually planning on sharing. <laughs> a while back I was doodling a bunch of just random little Hawkeye drawings, just for the fun of it, because he's one of my favorite characters from something that is not something I created. <laughs> and this one was just sort of me goofing off and using a, um, a photo reference, because I don't use those very much. And I also used some of the presets and just free backgrounds and stuff like that that come with Clip Studio. And it was just me goofing off, so it didn't turn out like amazing or anything like that. It's just a fun sketch around, cool down sort of drawing, which I wound up spending three hours on. Does not look like I spent that long on it, honestly. It, it could have turned out a lot better. Like if I was doing it traditionally, it would have turned out a lot better in those three hours. But, you know, I don't hate it or anything like that. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I think it's a fun little doodle. But I wasn't planning on sharing it at all just because, you know, I like to keep more polished art as what I share on YouTube. And this was really rough and <laughs> pretty unorganized in the creation process. And it just didn't feel like anything groundbreaking. But I have been... <laughs> really busy this last week and it's just been a hard week in general so I didn't really have time to create anything for a new video. I am planning on making some cute Christmas drawings and stuff like that in the coming weeks but for now we'll just share this. So I just found the photo reference on Google or something like that, and I know that it doesn't make a bunch of sense. As I get further in the drawing, you'll see that he's just floating, but, you know, just doodling around, and I decided to add the background later. I was originally planning on just leaving it that he was floating in an endless white background, or maybe I was going to fill it purple or something, I don't know. But partway through I decided, hey, let's go ahead and make it a finished doodle, because that's that's definitely an acceptable thing. <laughs> Normally I think of doodles as being really loose and unfinished with, you know, a lot of improvements needed and things that need to be changed, but this is as close to a finished doodle as I think I can really get. <laughs> I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving, by the way. Mine was pretty good. Had some friends and family over and ate lots of mashed potatoes. Those are my favorite, so. <laughs> it was just, it was a really nice day. And um, the mood was a lot lighter than last year. Part of why I've been struggling a bit lately is that it's been pretty much exactly a year since my great uncle passed away. It's still hard, but, you know, it's been a year, and I feel like the further you get away from something like that, just the further in time, it makes it easier to cope with. Anyways, so, <laughs> looking at this, I see a lot of weird stuff going on with, like, the line art and the coloring and things, but, you know, it was just a, it was a doodle. I kind of almost want to redraw this one and make it more finished, but I probably won't just because I am really swamped with a lot of work. Because I am working on both the Heyday Kids and Aces and trying to keep up with weekly updates for the Heyday Kids and keep a good buffer. And Aces is about to go on hiatus. And I'm not sure when it's going to come off of hiatus, but I'm trying to finish this issue of the Heyday Kids that I'm currently working on so that I can get work on the next issue of Aces really quickly. Which I've already started on the first few pages of it just because some days I just literally cannot help myself. <laughs> I've been struggling a lot with comic work in general lately, and I am just... 
like I'm in a really heavy art block again, and I keep getting those, and I feel like it's because I've spent a lot of time scattering myself between projects instead of just focusing on one at a time. But, you know, it's always a work in progress and stuff, and I actually... <laughs> I've been meaning to make a trailer for Aces and for the Heyday Kids to post on YouTube and stuff just because I feel like that would be really fun, but I have no idea where to start with that even. Like I have ideas, but I can't find the stuff that I need for it, and I just, I am struggling a lot with making it. So I'm going to try to finish at least one of the trailers by the end of the year. And that's like a month away, so...
sorry that I haven't talked a ton throughout the voiceover, but, you know, I thought that I'd just let the art do the talking for once. I hope you enjoyed seeing the process, and I hope to see you next time. Links to everywhere that I post my comics and art and all that jazz are down in the description, as are frequently asked questions like tools, music, things like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. God bless!